Hi, this is an introduction to the chemical reactions lab. <clears throat> um, I'm only going to demonstrate one of those reactions for you and then how to write the, the balanced chemical reaction and how to write the net ionic equation. So what I have here that I'm going to be dropping is sodium phosphate. As, as you can see, it's actually clear. Hopefully you can see it. It's clear. And then I'm going to take, in this little cup, I have some copper 2 sulfate that I have dissolved. And I'm going to mix it. I'm going to add it to the sodium phosphate. And hopefully you can see that there's a precipitation occurring because now you can see things floating around in there that you didn't see before. Okay, so that is one clue to show you that there is a reaction occurring. You can sometimes see little fizzing, little bubbles, because there's a gas that is being um, released. But for this case, you can see that there is a precipitate because there's the solution is not clear anymore. It's got, a, it, it turns opaque, and it's got a little bit of a color to it. So now I'm going to write the full chemical reaction and the net ionic equation. Now hopefully this is going to work. It's going to be a little hard to do. Okay. So what I had at the beginning was sodium phosphate. Phosphate is a 3 minus charge has a 3 minus charge and sodium has a plus 1 charge so I need 3 sodiums to equal the negative charge of the phosphate plus I added copper 2 sulfate copper 2 sulfate is this formula sulfate is a 2 minus ion so copper has to have a 2 plus charge to balance the 2 minus now what I'm doing is it's a double displacement reaction. I am replacing the positive ions. I'm swapping them and I'm swapping negative ions. So this gives me sodium sulfate. And remember, SO4 has a 2 minus charge. So sodium has a plus 1. So I need two sodiums to balance the negative charge of the sulfate plus now the copper is going to combine with the phosphate so this is going to be the formula the phosphate has a 3 minus charge 3 minus times 2 gives me a negative charge of 6 minus copper has a 2 plus charge I need 3 coppers to give me a plus 6 charge for an overall charge of zero. So this is the full ionic equation. The net ionic equation is that equation that shows us only the ions that form the precipitate. This is the precipitate that forms because sodium sulfate is soluble in water. Sodium, anything that contains sodium is soluble. So this isn't our precipitate. This is what forms the precipitate. So the ions that form this precipitate are copper 2 plus and phosphate 3 minus. So I go up here and write copper 2 plus plus PO4 3 minus gives me copper 2 phosphate. Okay, and we didn't balance them, but you need two phosphates here and a three here for the copper. And we also need to balance the full chemical equation here. <clears throat> we need, okay, two sodiums here, three over here, 
two. Uh, nope. Oops. We need, let's see, two. We need just three on this copper sulfate, and we're good. So six sodiums, six sodium. This has to be up here, but I don't have room. I have two phosphate groups, two phosphate groups. I have three coppers, three coppers, three sulfates, three sulfates. And I am balanced. So make sure that for each reaction, you'll see several of them, at least between 7 and 12. Write the full ionic equation like this. Make sure it's balanced. Watch for charges. And write neutral compounds, meaning a neutral compound, um, the positive, the total positive charges have to equal the total negative charges. And then once you write the full ion, or the full equation, then write the net ionic equation that consists only of those ions that give you the precipitate. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will certainly help you.